Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about variables and how we use them in our software and bots. Okay, guys, a variable is just an empty bucket, an empty file, an empty space, okay, where we can put information. Okay, that's going to become really clear in a second. I'm going to do some live demonstrations, but just know it's a way for us to hold information that we can then use later on in our bots and software. Okay, so let's crack on with some examples. What I've done is I've made a resource called URLs, which is just a list of random URLs. Let's go to record. And let's go to the browser, tab of the toolbox and load the URLs. Okay, we'll see the URL load up. I made it choose a random URL from a list. There you go. So that's just normal. We've done that before. Now what we can do guys is in the same toolkit, the browser toolkit, we can click on an option called current URL. Now what that does guys is give, gives us a chance to put the URL that we're on, okay, into a variable or a placeholder okay or an empty bucket however you want to name it and um, the option here is to save the URL with any name that we want and the standard is current URL we could change this to the URL or anything that makes sense but guys always use a variable name that you can recall what what it's used for okay so make it descriptive so just for this I'm going to call it the URL okay so what we've done now guys, we've initialized the bot, we've loaded a URL, and we've made a um, a bucket or a placeholder called the URL. And right now the information that's in that, in that empty space, is um, the current URL that we're on. Okay, so to make that clear, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tools toolbox <laughs> and use the log. And the data I want to display in the log is our whatever's in that variable the URL okay so now um, after that I'm gonna make a just for convenience sake make a five second wait time after it's done that okay guys and I'm gonna exit and we're gonna run the bot Let that run. There you go, guys. So what's happened is we've initialized the bot. We've gone to um, a URL at random from a list. In this case, it was brandontoolhire.co.uk. Okay. And then we put that information, the current URL that, that we're on, into a variable or a placeholder called the URL. And we've said, hey, display whatever information is in that um, variable, the URL, onto the log. So in this case, it's Brandon Tool Hire. So let's run that again. Okay, we're just going to run it again. And there you go, guys. So what's happened? We've initialized the bot. We've said, hey, go to a random URL in that URL list. In this uh, case, it was lockerroofing.co.uk. Okay, and we've said, take that URL, the, the current URL that we're on, and put it into a variable. We can also call that a placeholder, an empty bucket, an empty space. Put it into that variable that we called the URL, and then display that information, whatever's in that variable, onto the log. Okay, guys? Now... Let's go back to record. And let's get rid of some of this. In fact, let's get rid of everything. Um, another way that a variable can be used, and a way I can demonstrate this, is we can go to script logic and we can go to set variable. So we can just make a blank variable. Now, I'm going to call this counter. So it's descriptive, and what's 
what we want to put inside the variable. At the moment, there's nothing. It's an empty bucket, an empty space. So I'm going to put the number zero in there. So now the variable, or the holder, called counter, um, inside that, or it holds the number zero. Okay? And what I'm going to do now is, just so we can see what's going on, is to sorry go to the tools section in the log I want to show the data that's inside the variable counter so at the moment if we went to the log the first thing that it would show is the number zero because that's what's inside the variable called counter okay once it's done that com for convenience sake so it doesn't go too fast I'm gonna say sleep for 10 seconds and then I'm going to say I'm going to go back to script logic and then put increase variable okay so what variable do I want to increase the only one that we've got is called counter and I want to increase the counter by one so what's going to happen is the information in the variable is going to change at the moment it holds the information zero and then it's going to add one to that so then the variable called counter will hold the number one okay guys so the bot initializes we've made a variable which is called counter and we've told that I'm sorry the variable holds a number and the number is zero then we want to show that on the log then we're going to sleep for 10 seconds then we're going to increase the variable by one. Okay, so let's see that in action. In fact, what we want to do, guys, so we can demonstrate this better, is really we want to make a loop, which we're going to go through in other videos. But just to show you, um, we could add a loop here. So we could say while counter is not equal to 10. Then do this information. So what we're doing here guys, we're uh, initializing the bot, we've made a variable called counter, it holds the number zero, and we're saying while the, count, the variable called counter is not equal or doesn't have the number 10 in it, then do these actions, which is show the counter number in the log, sleep for 10 seconds, and increase the counter by one. So let's run that guys. Do you see that? Fred one zero now let's wait 10 seconds there you go now the the variable called counter now holds the number one and it's going through that loop again it's waiting for 10 seconds now the variable holds the number two I think you get the idea guys and th this is just two ways that variable can be um, can be used it could hold um, a password usernames it could hold the the date and time it could hold a URL as we're doing now it could hold a name locations it, the, a variable is just a, a empty bucket where we can put information and then use it anywhere in our program um, as you can see guys we're now at five so every 10 seconds we're adding one to the variable called counter and this what I've showed you in the second instance this could be used for a counter or, um, or to count the number of times you've gone over a certain loop which we're going to get through to in other videos okay guys I hope that makes sense uh, leave your comments if you've got any questions and we'll I'll see you in the next video thanks a lot